Joining me now live in our Lagos studio to discuss the trends and challenges in the poultry farming sector, I have chicken on to Adirka, a poultry farmer. Good to have you on The Breakfast Show this morning. Thank you. Your area of specialization is within the broiler side of the business. Now, let's yeah. talk about how it is to sustain this business, going by the cost of feed, which is also mm -hmm. high. Maize plays a, a very important role in your mm -hmm. feed makeup. Yeah. But yeah. we've seen increments within that sector as well. How does this affect the quality of the feed you have and then the market in general, so to speak, okay. transferring the price and cost? Okay. Um, basically, now is a very serious challenge. Knowing fully that the price of feed, um, as at last year, we have price as low as 3000 500 per bag of feed because mostly I deal on I buy already made feed I mm. don't do my feed production yeah so but recently there is a hike in the price of the feed that is is a kind of hundred percent almost hundred percent increase because currently now we buy a bag of feed for six thousand three hundred naira per bag and is a very serious challenge because now it has even affected the quantity of our production in terms of the number of production and um, broilers we produce now and it's really affecting our market because it has made the price of broiler very high in the market that people complain too much and most times is an issue it must be in a fit because if you can't bring the prices down due to the high cost of the feed and other uh, operational costs then you might likely be running at a loss because people are not patronizing as much just yeah. because of the price element there. Yeah, seriously, we are, we are running on a serious lose because now, now you would say a kind of probably the price of the feed is high, but the, the beds on its own, that's the chicken, mm. the broilers on their own, the price are not really, there's no much difference between what we used to have before and, now. and what we have now. Mm. And it's a very serious problem because it is eating up the gain of the, um, our gain in the business. And as such, currently now, I know many farmers who have already withdrawn from the business, knowing fully that they cannot stand this challenge any longer. Mm. So that's a very serious problem. According to the Central Bank of Nigeria in 2019, it uh, summed the value of the poultry sector as high as 1.6 trillion naira. That's quite yeah. a huge sum. Yeah. But at the end of the day, we have to improve on this market. This is a viable business if we want to yeah. put things clearly now. But in terms of the area of soft loans for uh, small-scale poultry farmers and also looking at those within the subsistence sector, how then do we now also aggressively drive this agenda that we can actually meet our demand quantity let's talk about the demand quantity and then the supply as well do you okay. think we can actually meet those numbers because we still have the question of or not whether to import birds oh the demand quantity well it can be met but on this ground that if government has to intervene on this problem because currently public private I, partnerships so yeah 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 because um actually if 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 um government we if um, um, um private sectors or can even come in and partner with us in this business and kind of release soft loans to us because the loan of a thing Actually, we want to assess, but probably most times it's not that as easy as you think. Because like last year, I have one I applied for, but currently up to now I've not gotten what any. What do you think is the challenge there? Oh, I, I, I can't judge. The challenge is that probably the bureaucracy in the system, mm. it has to go through process and before you can get to. So we are not seeing it coming, but we're hoping that it comes. So would you say this situation is not necessarily peculiar to you and there are other poultry farmers who are also finding it very hard at this point in time to, to be able to access funds for their poultry business? Because you look at the impact of the COVID-19, you look at sourcing funds from microfinance banks, the interest are quite high. So running as an individual entity is very much expensive. Yeah, 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 much expensive. It's, it's really affecting generally is affecting us as farmer mm. is not is not specific or 
to a particular it has it affects all the farmers this issue of this issue of we can't get the loan i think is really a difficult situation at now but we hope that we'll come out of it soon so what twists or new turns do you think would help revitalize the poultry sector now? What do you expect from private players like yourself and then the government? Oh, okay. In terms, well, I think we, we, we ask that because I know what is really the problem is policy, government policy on, on basically the raw materials we use for this um, production of feeds and mm -hmm. other things. I think government have to look into this situation and uh, kind of bring, make it easier for us or give us a soft landing to this problem. Mm. I think it will, as it will en enhance our effort. It will help us to do more because we want to do more, but we don't. Is, we are finding it very difficult. The basic element is the pricing of your feed. Are these Basically. locally sourced or uh, yeah, where do you get them yeah. from? Yeah, they are locally sourced. Not really. Okay. Like the maize, we, there is, um, we import maize, we import maize, but actually some are uh, locally sourced. But now, we are only getting it from the local source now, mm. and that's why it's very difficult, because the quantity of maize we produce from our local source are not enough, enough. Yeah, to meet the demand of the poultry farmers. Mm. So basically, it's affecting it. Both af it affects both the feed, it affects both the the uh, the productions of the the livestock production at the early stage because now the hatchery section that the hatchery sections they have to hatch their birds and those birds that have to hatch are those birds that are gotten from the breeders mm. the breeders the they lay the egg which will be hatched and most times now they don't have enough so we don't even have enough quantity of birds supplied um, at the early at the day old. Not to talk of the one who have to sell out of the market. In fact, it's affecting every sector of um, And let's not talk about currently. the quality of our veterinary services as well to ensure that we have healthy birds okay. in the system. Okay. Okay. In terms of quality, uh, one thing I always advise in terms of quality, most times I do tell people in my colleagues that... I think it's better to go for quality than to go for just the less. Like, um, practically in my farm, I like to take the best of the breeds of birds. Because when you have the best of the breeds of the birds, you get, the bet you get a better outcome. Then, also the feed, I, pr I, I prefer having the best of the feed, even if it will cost me high. But the end of the, the outcome of it will be better compared to when you are trying to do it in a lower, mm. yeah, by and the end of the... So what's the cost of your bird if you're now going to put it per unit? Okay, per unit bird. Currently now, is it, you mean at maturity? At maturity. Yeah. Uh, per unit bird now, you get, it will be running approximately 3,000, 3,150. And do you think these inflationary pressures we are having at this point in time would push that uh, figure higher? Because you already say your customers are complaining about it. So what do you see playing no, out telling, in the third quarter or by the end of the year when it's almost Christmas? Uh, when it's almost Christmas, oh, the price of beds will be very high, very high. Looking at what we have on ground now. Looking at what we have on ground now. Because you can't buy feed at a high price. Then, but if you are selling, if you have to um, reduce your, minimize your price, it will affect you badly. So, so looking at that season, it will, will get bets at a very high price in terms of the consumers, knowing fully that the uh, the price we, the price of the production is very high. Mm. So it will really affect our um, the end consumers are they, because the price they will get bets. Mm. Looking at what we have on ground will, be, will not be easy. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And Nigerians are already paying a whole lot more for every single service and product yeah, they're having yeah, in the market. Yeah, uh, yeah. With the rate at which you're seeing inflation yeah. figures still skyrocketing, that's a major cause for concern. But yeah. if we don't improve on our production quality for all of our demand needs, then 
will just have to deal with those high prices. Yeah. And that's not the best situation. Thank you very much for your time on The Breakfast Show yeah, this welcome. morning. Yeah, Chukunonso, Adirakai, it's been a pleasure speaking yeah, with you. Thank you very much. Yeah.